does Geno still need another Heisman moment like you had, or does his eight touchdown game against Baylor earlier in the season <laughs> carry on enough in voters' minds? Moving from down here on the bench where the players sit to down here on the bench where the coaches sit is only a matter of feet, but it's the fact that Duhon is closer to the player's age that makes him all the more valuable. Parrot heads can bring their fins to White Sulphur Springs for a cheeseburger in paradise and help Jimmy look for his lost shaker of salt. He's become the drum major at Ohio State. And now it's all about one thing, OH. I.O. Oregon's not the only school who gets cool uniforms when it comes to big games. Joey is more than just Adam's older brother. He's also his running backs coach on the football team. And the pressure to succeed here on the turf at Stadium Field gets even more intense when the family gets together. <laughs> Joe Whitcamp is one of the strongest men in the world. That's what his silver medal in an international weightlifting competition says. Joe Whitcamp is one of the strongest men in the world, from the waist up. A 1993 car crash left Joe paralyzed from the waist down. But that's where his journey started. I wasn't sure what was ahead of me. But whatever life had in store for me, I was ready. He began competing in international powerlifting in 1994. But for the self-described stubborn person, this individual sport is a team effort. <clears throat> and if it weren't for these guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. Joe and a group of friends lift weights together in his basement. But his success on the international stage is shared with the group. He's probably one of the most competitive people you ever meet. And it really doesn't matter to me how he does, just he's getting to do something he's always wanted to do, and that's all that matters. 21 years ago, Joe Whitcamp's life was forever changed. And two decades after the accident, he lives every day with a smile on his face. It makes me more positive. I know if that had happened to me, I just know how I am. I would probably be one of those people that would be depressed about the situation, and he's not like that. I never would have dreamed that I'd be doing probably something like this when, you know, my accident first happened. I was having nurses coming in, dressing me. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to dress myself for the rest of my life. You know, my life was turned upside down, and I wouldn't go back and do it over for nothing. I, lo I love the life that I live today. Just because we was put in, put in a chair don't mean our lives are over. That's just a beginning. God, he gave me, he, he dealt me another deck of cards, and now I'm all in.